It is the 23rd of the 3rd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net tonight. Solar storm dumps gigawatts into Earth's upper atmosphere. Well, that's enough power to power New York for two years. This was the biggest dose of heat that we've recorded from a solar storm since 2005. Uh, says uh, NASA Langley Research Center. It was a big event and shows how solar activity can directly affect our planet. Um, let's see. They're saying um, the Sabre monitors infrared emissions from Earth's upper atmosphere, in particular from carbon dioxide, CO2, because they're all about that, aren't they? And nitric oxide, two substances two substances that play a key role in the energy balance of airs hundreds of kilometers above our Earth's planet. Carbon dioxide and nitric oxide are natural thermo thermostats, uh, explains James Russell of Hampton University. But when the upper atmosphere heats up, these molecules try as hard as they can to shed that heat back into space, and that produces energy, of course. And uh, they have a video on that. Uh, Australia is hit by a 6.1 strong earthquake that happened pretty much center of the country. Uh, the earthquake ep epicenter was recorded at shallow depth near Ernabella, 415 kilometers northwest of Cooper PD and about 320 kilometers southwest of Alice Springs just before 8 p.m. yesterday. Uh, they reported the quake could have been felt by people up to 500 kilometers away and damage experienced within a 40 kilometer radius of the epicenter. And they're saying uh, this is the biggest quake that's hit Australia in over 15 years. Corn insecticide linked to great die off of beneficial honeybees. Uh, here we go, we've been preaching this for years. New research has linked springtime die-offs of honeybees critical for pollinating food crops, part of the mysterious, madly called colony collapse disorder. With technology for planting corn coated with insecticides, the study published in ACS uh, appears on the eve of spring planting season in some parts of Europe where farmers use the technology and widespread deaths of honeybees have occurred in the past. And they keep using this stuff and keep using this stuff. And uh, what did Einstein say? What would happen uh, four years after the bees died? We wouldn't be here any longer anyway. Um, and really, like two-thirds of the crops we depend on, depend on honeybees for pollination. It's insane. Papua New Guinea earthquake magnitude 6.6. .6, uh, I believe that I reported on that yesterday. So that's about all new they have going on tonight. Uh, over to the Extinction Protocol, they've got a story, Climate Disarray, Skipping Spring and Going Straight into Summer. I'd like to ask, where the hell did winter go? Uh, we're calling it the winter that never was here in Iowa. And, of course, they're going into uh, more than 1,054 locations, set new daily high temperature records, and 627 saw new lows. Records are not only being broken across the country, they are being broken in unusual ways. So the weather is strange and uh, they are admitting it. Uh, some more drums, of course. Um, experts say minor earthquakes have become frequent in Armenia. Growing seismic unrest in the Middle East. Earthquake hits the Dead Sea region, uh, felt as far away as Jerusalem. Uh, 3.7 on the Richter scale. And the Australian media news station attempts to unravel enigma of bird deaths. Remember all those math, mass deaths uh, we had last year. Um, <clears throat> animal deaths. And they're getting into why these blackbirds flew into each other in Arkansas uh, over a year ago. South American drought spreads to Brazil. Uh, drought has spread from Argentina and Paraguay to Brazil and is hitting soy yields at a time of concerns that regional economic growth may suffer as pressures mount on commodity prices. 
Argentine yields of soy were affected by drought and labor disputes in that country are making farmers and grain traders jittery. Um, the food crisis continues. Uh, USGS claims booming noises are attributable to missed earthquake. Now this is the, the booming noises out of Wisconsin. Uh, they've got a lady coming out of the crack. Sharon Bringer, cracked basement floor was a testament that something actually happened. Now authorities say a minor earthquake occurred this week near the eastern Wisconsin city where researchers have been investigating a series of unexplained booming sounds. Federal geologists said on Thursday the U.S. Geological Survey said the 1.5 magnitude earthquake struck Tuesday just after midnight in Clintonville, a town of about 4,600 people about 40 miles west of Green Bay. And the loud booming noises have been known to accompany earthquakes. It's possible the mysterious sounds that town officials have been investigating are linked to the quake, he said. So they're blaming this on an earthquake. Uh, they found a cracked basement floor, and uh, they're tying pieces together, trying to put up a, a believable um, scenario for you. And uh, is mysterious rumbling noise in Wisconsin spreading? The strange sounds overheard three straight nights have now been reported 70 miles to the south in Montello. And uh, so if this earthquake's going, is that they're admitting that there's a major fault line running through this state? Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, the North Sea Turn Oil Platform in the Shetland Basin off the coast of Scotland had 23 tons of crude spill uh, they were cleaning up a new well kind of thing they're saying due to rough seas and the weather the oil dispersed naturally and uh, no need for any cleanup forest fires rage in India and flooding in New Brunswick Bathurst Canada Flash floods in the state of Queensland, the Sunshine Coast. Of course, these people have not caught a break whatsoever. Australia is definitely under the gun as far as this weather stuff. Uh, avalanche reports coming out of Canada, British Columbia, Columbia um, Bonington Mountain Range, and Stewart Burn area, Manitoba, Canada is reporting forest fires as well. And, of course, the earthquake in Mexico City. And uh, the, the madness that's going on with the noises in Wisconsin, they're covering that as well. Over to the nuclear stuff tonight, I've got a few things to cover with you. Uh, there's an interview, official radiation measurements are wrong. Contaminated soil removed near monitoring post. Now radioactivity is many times lower. So what they're doing is they're removing the contaminated soil and debris away from these monitors and then setting the monitors and then saying that's what the levels are. Asia Times reporter, everybody is involved. It sounds, looks, and quacks like a major cover-up over deleted radiation emails. And the insanity continues. Cover-up and double-speak and they tell you exactly what you want to hear. U.S. government wild, widespread contamination throughout northern Japan, including Tokyo. Entire region would be required to be posted as a radiological area. And you got to think of how many millions and millions and millions of people live in this zone. And uh, the Japanese government are leaving them there to die instead of paying the money to move them. Japan professor fractionation probably caused much higher plutonium ratio in Iwaki, Busby 11 months ago, nuclear criticality explosions in Fukushima due to plutonium fractionation. And you got to remember these isotopes are combining. Um, this plutonium is everywhere, and if you do any kind of homework at all on plutonium, you would know um, just how serious that is. Fear of radiation creeping south. Tokyo area may be in danger, says a Japanese professor. May be in danger. They've been in danger for over a year now. Another plutonium-239 was detected almost 8,000 CPS near Awaki, uh, 50 kilometers south of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, found at multiple locations. When number three blew 
Uh, this stuff went sky high. Government advisor results of children's test may point to an elevated increase of abnormal thyroid function. Yeah. And, uh, The Daily Show, you know, old John Stewart, they debuted the new nuclear friendly, friendly, uh, cartoon by the nuclear industry saying, hey, nukes fast, friendly, it's cheap, uh, it's exactly what America needs. Uh, shame on you, John Daly and The Daily Show. Uh, over to Daily News, Fukushima, scattered fuel of reactor number three, this is Fukushima Daiichi. A good arts general mixed the video of reactor number three and a thermal map. The results show there are at least three heating parts out of the well cap. Uh, one of them is lying from the SPF to the well cap. And uh, I watched the video on this and there are hot spots um, where the storage pool is and where the well cap, the actual reactor, and, there, and it looks like from the heat signature that there is steam and leaks coming out of this reactor. That's the number three with all the dirty MOX fuel. The second endoscope operation is planned for uh, the 26th and 27th. Following up this article, results of an endoscope operation on the 19th, TEPCO is going to endoscope the operation for reactor number two on the 26th and 27th again. And they said, but last time they weren't going to open this thing up for another 14 years or so. The last time the estimated water level was four meters above from the bottom and they couldn't have endoscope reach. They're going to use one of the 20 meter long ones uh, to try to get a better look in there and see what's going on. And of course, um, it's way worse than they'll ever tell us. Cesium is measured from every milk used for school lunches. Um, Kunachi Tokyo published near published their measurement data of school lunch. They outsourced the measuring of milk products and a few kinds of vegetables to Isotope Research Institute. As a result, cesium-134 and 137 have been measured from milk products every time they analyzed since November 4th, 2011. They are radiating their kids. Uh, they are divvying out the pain. They are burning radioactive debris in open incinerators and dumping pollutants into the Pacific Ocean, which is a major food source for the rest of the world. The insanity continues. They're all a bunch of criminals. Nuclear energy is a crime against humanity. So, if I missed anything, please let me know. Leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy away you can, everybody. Thanks for your support.